let's talk about protected. What does the protected keyword do? It is an access modifier. We already know that. But how does it limit access? Or how does it control access to the variables or methods that we define as protected? Let's understand this again through the same example that we've been using up till now, the math utils class. So right now we have any variable as private and subtract as private as in one of the previous videos. And you would remember that any variable being private and subtract being private means that we cannot access them anywhere outside of this class. Great, but now let's make them protected and see how that changes. Great, now they're protected. What does that really mean? Let's see if we can access them from the main class. If we create an object that is an instance of the math utils class, can that instance access any variable and subtract? Let's see. So we have the instance mu, which is an object, which is an instance of the math utils class. Let's see if mu can access subtract in any variable. It seems like it can. Any variable and subtract are accessible when they're protected. So this was the main class. What about some other class in the same package, com.company? We have ASD as one of the classes. Let's see if an instance of math utils there can access, subtract, and the attribute any variable. So we go to the ASD class and we have an instance of math utils here named new mu. And let's see if new mu can access everything. Seems like it can. Any variable and subtract are accessible from another class of the same package. As long as we have the instance of the math utils class, that instance can still access all these protected and public variables and methods. So subtract is accessible. Great. So it seems like as long as we are in the same package, any of the classes can access the protected method and variable. What about a class in a different package? So let's say again, we go to the engineering package in the XYZ package, and there we have a manager class, right? So let's go there, and we have this manager class. And here, let's say we create a math utils instance. So we have this instance of math utils, and we've named it MU class in different package, because this is a class in a different package than the package which contains math utils, right? So let's see if this new instance can access the subtract method and the any variable attribute. It seems like it cannot. It can only access the public methods. So it seems that protected means that you can only access those variables and methods that are defined as protected. You can only access them in classes of the same package, but classes in the other packages cannot access them. Great, now that we understand that, there is one more thing protected actually allows you to do. We have not understood what a child class or a subclass is, but just remember that even if you are in a different package, let's say right now we are in the XYZ package, we can still access the protected method and the protected attribute in one way. And that is if some class of the of a different package is a child of math utils class. The instance of that class can access the protected method and variable as well. So I'll show you an example, but don't worry if you don't fully understand what's happening because we have not covered inheritance yet. When we cover inheritance, you'll understand what is going on. But for now, just for this video, I'll still show you the example. Come back to it when you understand inheritance and you'll have a better understanding of what's going on here. So let's say we go to the employee class and we say it extends math utils. In order to use math utils, we'll have to import first because we are in a different package and math utils is in a different package. So whenever we are using a class from a different package, we have to import it first, right? So we imported it and then we say extends math utils. What does extends mean? Don't worry about it. We'll cover it later. So employee extends math utils, which means employee now becomes a child of math utils. And so if we create an employee instance inside our employee class, let's say we call it EMP, and let's say we have some method, doesn't matter what method it is, this is just again, for example purposes, we'll call it AA, and it doesn't have a return type, and it's public. Here, if we use EMP, you can see that here, this EMP instance 
can access any variable and it can access subtract even though they're protected. So this means that protected variables and methods are available and are accessible in all of the classes that are in the same package. You can instantiate the math utils class here in any of these classes. You can create an instance of the math utils class and that instance will be able to access all the protected methods and variables. But if you go outside of this package and you're instantiating math utils class outside of it, those instances will not be able to access the protected variables and methods. So in order to show you what that means, let's quickly go through it again. Here, when we were in this package, if we look at ASD, here we have an instance of the math utils class, and that instance can access subtract, even though subtract is protected, right? This instance of the math utils class can access it. But what about an instance of the math utils class in a class in a different package? So a class in a different package is employee, right? So if we go to the employee class, and if we create a math utils instance, we'll call it EMPMU. Will EMPMU be able to access the private methods and variables? So when we press dot, you see it can't. It cannot find the protected variable and the protected method, even though it is an instance of the math utils class. But because employee is a child of math utils, EMP as an instance of employee can access the any variable attribute and the subtract method. So children of math utils class can access the protected methods and protected variables inside the child class only. All right. Instances of the math utils class will only be able to access the protected methods and variables if they are instantiated inside the classes of the same package that math utils is in. So I'll show you one more thing. Here we have created EMP as an instance of employee, right? And you saw that EMP can actually access the protected variable and the protected method. But what would happen if we have an instance of the employee class in some other class? So let's say we go to the same package and go to the manager for engineering. And here we create an employee instance. Will this instance be able to access exactly everything that this instance was able to access? This instance here was able to access the protected methods and variables, right? But will this instance be able to do that? Let's see. You see, it cannot find subtract. It cannot find any variable, even though they are both instances of the same class employee. EMP manager is an employee instance. EMP here is an employee instance. This EMP can access protected variable and method of math utils because it is a child of math utils. And within this class, between these two brackets, you can access the protected method and variable of math utils. But outside of these two brackets, outside of the employee class, doesn't matter if you create another instance of the employee class anywhere else, it will not be able to access. So summarizing, if we go back to the math utils class, we define these two as protected. These two things, the any variable attribute and subtract, will be accessible to any instance of math utils defined in any one of these classes because they're all in the same package. But outside of this package, the only place where the protected method and variable will be accessible is if the class extends math utils and only within that class if an instance of the same class exists. So it's easy within the same package, right? Within the same package, if you create an instance in any of these classes, an instance of math utils, that instance will be able to access the protected method and variable. That's easy. But when you go outside of the package, there it will only be accessible in the class that extends math utils and it will not be accessible anywhere else. And that's what protected does. Again, I know the outside of the package thing is kind of difficult to understand right now because we don't fully understand children and subclasses and inheritance. But once we do that, we'll understand what's going on here.